Hello to all, and I thought I would just take a little time to give you a little bit of an idea of what my studio looks like. I'm very fortunate to have this beautiful space. Uh, we left the ceilings open down here because they are now 10 feet tall without a drop ceiling. And I have a lot of space to make sure that the bigger paintings I can take and turn around and not have to worry about bumping into a ceiling. So I look out on this area in the back, my backyard, and uh, my studio is in the, what you would call the basement. It's a, it's a walkout from our townhouse. It's the reason I wanted to buy this house after living in a very large house with a very uh, low ceiling in the basement. This is a nice change for me. This is my table where I paint. I have some of my um, handmade papers here. Took those out for you to see a little bit. This is one of my paintings that has a lot of the gold leaf in it. Uh, you can see it along the top. It's uh, gold leaf with uh, paint on top, so it comes out to be a copper color. This is my paints. Kind of a mess that uh, turns into something good. Toward the back here, a lot of storage, a lot of supplies. Oh, I store my uh, handmade jewelry back here, one of a kind. It's very fun. Over on the other side, uh, some projects I've done with uh, the art center here in New Jersey. This piece was uh, in a show called The Chair. Lots of uh, chairs on top of each other in a sculpture. This is a um, sculpture I did uh, with an art group uh, done from two uh, shoes. They were high heel shoes. Kind of looked like wings. Lots of other projects I've done along the way. Uh, not just painting. It's a work table here that's uh, really great for uh, shipping. I roll the paintings so that they are shipped to the galleries uh, rolled and then restretched. So we're walking over to the other side where some of the paintings are stored uh, until they uh, have a home. <laughs> Always looking for a good home. Oh, this piece, um, this piece was in The Devil Wears Prada, the movie. Uh, some of you may have seen. Uh, with Meryl Streep. Uh, it's in the hospital scene. Do not blink because uh, 10 seconds later it is gone already. But uh, a lot of times I've had uh, paintings rented uh, to be in movies. Always fun to see. Sometimes I've even seen them uh, up here when I'm watching and I'm, I was in the theater once and one came up and I had no idea that it was going to be in there. It was a poster. This area is where I do I, my photography so that I can have a great record of each of the pieces. Uh, this series of pieces uh, were done with a lot of uh, iridescent paper, so you can really get an idea of the reflections in there. Still a landscape. My paintings uh, are landscapes. Uh, they all have a horizon line. They all have a place where you would think about, wow, I wonder what is beyond there. Uh, I'm thinking about my life and I, I wonder what's coming next. Uh, I think horizons hold so much possibility. Uh, it's always fun to think about what's going to happen next in your life and the viewer can, can look at my paintings and think about that. Uh, whatever I've done with the paint and, and with my own expression and with my own thoughts, it's going to come out to each viewer the, the, in a different way. Uh, one person is going to see something uh, or see a place they've been or something they're thinking about that uh, 
has happened in their life, uh, or more importantly, what's going to happen next in their life. I love that idea of, of not knowing what's coming next. Uh, back to the table. I'll show you where um, I keep some of the collage pieces. Lots of different uh, papers and old maps and, and things like that. Tear up a lot of things, put them in. See how the colors work together. A question I've been asked very, very many times is how long does it take you to do a painting? Well, I can answer that in a couple of different ways. Since I was very young, I loved, loved to draw. And I loved to paint. And I would always be making something. And each time I would make something, a little bit of the painting before or the drawing before would change. And there'd be something new in the next one and one would build on the other. And so you could say that because of all the experiences you have and because of all the times of trial and error, that each painting is going to be built on the one that you did before. So you could say that it took 35 years uh, that go into that painting, the one you're seeing on the wall. In a practical way, uh, there are a lot of steps and the collage pieces go on first. I'm gonna bring you a little closer here to see some of that. Uh, then the gold and silver leaf would go on. Uh, the newer pieces have a textured background. You can see in this piece. That takes overnight to dry. So it's a number of days. It's a number of days even before the paint goes on. Uh, then the paint uh, take, kind of takes over. And uh, I can work in one section for a long time. Or sometimes I can sweep the whole thing. It's never the same. It's never the same. I hope this has given you some kind of an idea of where I am when I'm creating. And thank you so much for being with me and learning a little about me and a little bit about my work.